Today I'm trying another recipe I've never tried before, Thai drunken noodles. I can't be sure why they're called that since they contain no alcohol, but regardless of the name, this dish looks so colorful and delicious I just had to try it. Welcome back to my kitchen, or if you're new here, my name is Stephanie and this is Ginger Snap Kitchen. The first thing I did was grate some palm sugar on my box grater. You could easily substitute a combination of white sugar and maple syrup to get a similar flavor. Next, I combined a quarter cup of oyster sauce with about a quarter cup of soy sauce and a tablespoon of fish sauce. Oyster sauce is very easy to find as well as fish sauce. If either of those ingredients sounds gross to you, I agree, but they're not. And they actually make your dish taste incredibly authentic and delicious. Then I added two tablespoons of cold water followed by two tablespoons of palm sugar. Remember, you can combine maple syrup and white sugar to get a similar flavor profile. You don't have to have the authentic ingredients to make a delicious dish. Once those ingredients were well mixed, I set them aside and started preparing my vegetables. And that started with a large bunch of Chinese broccoli. I must say that Chinese broccoli was not the easiest ingredient to find. So if I were going to make this again, I probably would use American broccoli, broccolini, Napa cabbage, whatever green vegetable I could find. I'm sure it would be equally delicious. So what I did was separate the stems from the leaves, then I thinly sliced the stems. Next, I chopped two red chili peppers. I removed the seeds and the ribs to reduce the spiciness. However, it was still very spicy, and I probably should have only used one pepper. I thinly sliced four green onions. I picked about a cup of Thai basil leaves. That's not the easiest ingredient to find, but I grew these in my arrow garden. Standard basil works great as well. Then I thinly sliced four shallots. And I soaked eight ounces of rice noodles in some very hot water for about 15 minutes until they were flexible. I moved them around every few minutes to make sure they didn't stick together. Once the noodles were flexible, I drained them and then covered them with a wet paper towel until I was ready to use them. I heated two tablespoons of vegetable oil and about a teaspoon of sesame oil over medium high heat in my wok. I would recommend using the largest pan you have for this if you don't have a wok. I added the sliced shallots and chili peppers and stir fried those together for about two minutes until they were softened. Please note, I added four cloves of chopped garlic to this at some point, but I can't seem to find the footage. Then I added about eight ounces of boneless, skinless chicken. The pan was a bit dry, so I added a little bit more oil and I seared the chicken for about two minutes. Once the chicken lost its raw color, I added the broccoli stems. When the stems became tender, I added the broccoli leaves and I stir fried until they were wilted. When the leaves were wilted, I added the sliced green onions and the sauce mixture. I continued cooking and stirring until the sauce began to boil. Once the sauce came to a boil, I added the soaked rice noodles and I tossed everything together until the noodles had absorbed some of the sauce and were cooked through. That took about two minutes. Once the noodles were perfectly cooked, I turned off the heat and I added the Thai basil leaves. tossing them together until the leaves were wilted. Then it was ready to eat. Mm -hmm. 
This noodle dish was pretty quick, easy, and it's a great way to use up any vegetables you might have lying around your kitchen. It's spicy, savory, and tastes like it came from a real Thai restaurant. I'm so happy I made it. It was delicious. I hope you'll give it a try sometime, and I hope you'll come back and see me again very soon. Thank you so much for watching to the end, and thank you so much for waiting for me for three weeks to upload something new. I've been super busy, but I've been thinking about you the whole time. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.